My contents for 13 and upwards. Don't collect another product. We have a look at the new Spriggan and uh, looking pretty cool. Hello everyone, before we continue with this video, subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on and comment your thoughts. Also credit where credit's due. Please check out j and J store, a link to their Instagram as well as their store page in the description. As well, also to mention, shout out to the King of Beyblade Malaysia. I also wanna mention that they are having this huge, huge event that they're organizing and hosting. And for any sign up, if you are interested, if you are in that actual area, I will leave links in the description below. So Facebook, open age, open age like crazy prizes, crazy prizes in the events. And, and like it's it's like if you're in that area, I have to say this: if you're in that area, and they're it, official organizers. They're official organizers. If you're in that area, you like competitive, you want to go and attend. I I'm gonna tell you right now, it's it's gonna be really cool. Okay. So now let's get on to the main event, the new Spriggan. So the thing is modified slightly. I'm gonna be honest, there's not much difference between the modified one and the actual one. I just had to do a little filter on the thing just uh, so the video uh, stays uh, and also protect the content. But um, oh golly gosh, yeah, this looking pretty insane. So one thing I'm noticing already is uh, the core is dual spin. The core is dual spin. You can see the screws on there, so it's another dual spin core. Uh, another thing too is that S in the middle, this is in reference to the dual layer Storm Spriggan when they had the lettering uh, at the start. I thought that was really cool and a neat reference. It does kind of seem like an altogether Spriggan kind of in, in the same vein as Ultimate to reference to the past. Now, really we gotta get to the main thing which is the actual shape of it. Now, if you've noticed any video competitive that I've talked about with World and I've talked about for predictions for a BU Spriggan, they pretty much did what I expected them to do. It's a circle. Now, it's not technically a circle. I guess you could say looking kind of maybe a, a little aggro maybe, but its general shape leads me to believe. I don't think as much as maybe World, but this is definitely something that seems like it's going to be most likely a must have for competitive players for the simple reason of opposite spin. Uh, obviously, I'm just going by the shape and everything. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest, it, it might be a little bit cracked for 5G if you think about it, because you basically would get a buffed World all right, you have the option of spin direction change. Hopefully the teeth on it, actually, you wanna know what? The Achilles teeth were actually, I would say, kind of very comparable to Longinus, so I'll give credit where credit's due to that one. As, as, as I tried from that, maybe stamina would be, would be pretty interesting. I don't know what the name of the blade is. I'm sure whatever the name is going to be, it'll be something interesting, maybe. But uh, there is this weird little purple thing. Now, I don't know if this is just because of how the model is, off color or not off color, but it uh, looks weird. I, did, do you, I don't know what it is. I actually, I thought at first it was a burst, but it can't be because of how it's placed. So, I don't know, Ru rubber? What do you think? Maybe rubber? Looks rubber this well, I mean, it's a model, right? It's a render, but what do you think it is? Maybe it's like, a, maybe it's not even rubber. Maybe it's I like, think it's rubber. You think it's rubber, maybe? I don't think so. Do you think it's maybe some sort of like counter blade thing, yes. maybe? I think they're closing with the bang. I, I'd probably agree with that, to be honest. I don't know what it is, but I mean, eventually we'll find out, right? I think, I don't know if I guessed, I don't think I guessed it on the original IPR in Helios video. I think when I was on Discord predicting, I, I think I said, but no, uh, aside from that, I, I think that's kind of it for the this. Oh, wait, 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 There is other stuff. It's supposed to have an ultimate Valkyrie recolor. And two gears. And two gears. So, price range is probably going to be similar to the Achilles set. 4,150 yen. Should be. Guaranteed. Okay, you're always saying. Okay. Uh, 3,773 yen plus tax. Okay. Let's so hope. This is the price of the Achilles. And, and another thing, too. Do you think. Okay, do you think that though, wh what do you think else they'll include? Because two gears, ultimate, do you think it's ultimate and it's just, there's no extra driver? You think, I don't think any extra drivers. I think just ultimate and the gears. There's no extra drivers. 
Because you know how like in the previous ones they had like what? There's no extra drivers. So you just think, spriggin' Achilles gears, right? Yep. So, you know, gears, ultimates, nothing really else to say. I think there might be a new armor on it. I, I'm not gonna bother to guess, because I know that sometimes they model the default armor. Uh, whatever. On a scale of 1 to 10, Eight? I think eight's good. What are you at? One to ten on this. Oh, I don't know. Maybe eight, nine. But I gotta see the other one. I, I gotta see the. I gotta see IRL. Maybe eight. I think eight's pretty fair. Uh, that actually does mean then. Yeah, no. Uh, so after this in December, it's Lucifer. I don't know if there's anything else after. I just know Lucifer. Probably it's Lucifer, and that's it. But. Yeah, I think it's a unique direction they are taking with BU because obviously people say what they can on the new Spriggan and, you know, Astral was all right. You know, the Spriggan core, no. Astral Blade, fine. Over, good. Quattro. I don't even know, like, I don't even know what parts they would give on it. I, I think it's fine because also it's like trying to match the same amount of Valkyries. It's like a, it's like a rival to Devolt with Chew and everything. I mean, there's no anime, but I, I you know, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Like, it's like, eh. it's like, all right, whatever. So, yeah, I'm not gonna speculate on anything else. Hopefully, new disc. Hopefully, new driver. Or if it's gonna be some variant. Hopefully it's good. Uh, now, for full information, mm -hmm. so what's probably going to happen is October like 12th to like 13, whatever. Most likely we get the Koro Koro scans and I'll do a follow up where obviously the scans will be highly modified. And then after we'll do like the news video on like the 14th. Aside from that, I think that's kind of it. We really are reaching the end of, I keep saying this, but like, it is kind of crazy. Like this has gone for what, seven years? Like a long time. Six years to thousand, bro. That's where we're gonna be ending off the video. If you are in uh, the Malaysia area and you are excited uh, for tournament stuff and you wanna try it out and see these crazy events, Please follow all the links in the description below. A thousand and twenty-four people participating. A, th a thousand? Yeah, that actually is... That, that's, that, that's insane. That is... I think that's probably the, the biggest for a big yeah, event. The, to beat the record. It's to beat a record. Yeah, okay. That, uh, that, that is kind of cool. Fair play. No, that, I, I'm actually trying to think. It, that, that is a really big number. All right, well. You want to join the cause for that, I guess. Description, all right. Enough waffling. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you can expect normal videos, most likely. I mean, there's probably some new stuff we'll always, you know, cover, but I think that's where we ended off. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome and amazing day, and bye. Wait, thumbnail pose.